Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brewmon's Digi Glitch here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're here today with a fun new deck. It is from the new set of 1.5 that's come out. And it's got, uh, we're, we're showcasing one of the new big level 7 dudes. And it's not the Omnimon, because, I mean, it's Omnimon. We yeah. don't want to deal with him yet. Um, but it is our boy Ragnalord Jermon. It's, it's really simple. Uh, the deck's going to be kind of like a tribal deck. It's, it's honestly how it plays out, which is kind of cool. I personally love tribal. I always will. I always, I always do. It's just, it's my favorite thing. But we're gonna delve into it, and it's just a black red deck. It's mostly black, but it's super easy and simple. But before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Um, as well, hit that like, hit that like and subscribe button down below because we're really close to a thousand. We just want to get to that like a thousand mark. And yes. so just help us get there, guys. It's going to be super easy. And it's all, all it takes is just hitting a little bell, hitting well, that little bell. Please. We've been here on YouTube long enough to be associates, right? Yeah. We be and we're, we're ready to delve into the Digimon game and it's going to a lot of, it's, it's super crazy and it's super fun. Yeah. So hit it up with legendary arms. That's the name of the deck. Cause I mean, that's what they are. We're going to start with our little boy, Kapu, uh, Kaporimon. He is a level two Digi Egg and uh, his uh, inheritable is your turn. The Digimon has reboot. It gets plus 1000. Reboot's really good. Just yeah. I'll attack and then, and then I'll come back and you can't swing at me. Yeah, reboot's gross. It's very gross. The next little baby guy is uh, Kakinmon. <laughs> Kakinmon. Uh, when attacking, the inheritance is once per turn. If your Digimon is level seven, gain one memory. So if a big dude's on him, then you gain one memory. Uh, next up is our first level three. It is Hagurimon. He is a two drop 3000. He digivolves for zero. He's just a normal basic dude, but you need him. So you can just digivolve on him. So we got Toy Argumon. So it's also, it's a three cost and cost zero Digimon one, one power. And it has the inher inheritance of reboot. Simple as that. So if you put Toyagumon on the little Kapurimon, you automatically get a plus 1,000. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, next is Commandramon. He's a level three, two drop 3,000. Digivolves for zero. He is also another basic dude, but you need to have him. Yep. All right, Ludomon. He actually has some stats here. So he costs three, Digimons for zero. Digivolves is zero for one power. But on play, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one uh, Ragn right. Ragnalordmon Digicard. And one Digicard, uh, Digimon with, sorry, Legendary Arms in the typo in his hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So they, you get two cards. For so sure. yeah, you play him for three men and you get two cards, which is kind of insane. Yeah. Like, hopefully you get three, you get two cards. You get the big level seven you need and then any other Legendary Arms, which a lot of the dudes that lead up to him are Legend Arms. I, I love that they made the game. It's like, you know you want to play this guy. So we're going to put him in that special. Yeah. Uh, next is Zubomon. He is essentially the same thing as Ludomon. He is the 3-drop for uh, 1,000 power, 0 cost evolution. And on play, you can reveal the top 5, get a Ragnar Lordramon and one of the Legend Arms. But he is the red version. So he's only going to be ever played. The other one you can Digivolve if you need to, but you don't get the ability. But it is what it is. So yeah, at least to help you get to your main end game here. So we have a uh, Gardromon. 5 cost, the evolution is for 2, uh, 7 power he has a blocker and your turn digimon can't attack this digimon can't attack at all but he's there just to help you stay alive yeah but he's a level four seven thousand dude that he's a, he's just big blocker like that's his main purpose yeah uh next is tia ludomon he is a four drop four thousand power for th uh, two drop digivolution and when attacking if the, his inheritable is when attacking if this digimon is level seven trigger digivolve one on one of your opponent's Digimon. So you trash the top card of their of their, their stack and then it just goes down. Yeah, pretty good. He's helpful to just keep getting you there. Yeah. We have a good old classic Tankmon. He's a uh, six drop six power with an evolution of one and that's all he is. Super and simple. Yeah, that's it. He's a one drop level four, which is nice on the Digivolution. So yeah. it helps you like keep the stack on, or keep the memory on your side more than theirs. Uh, next is Metal Greymon. He is an 8 drop, 7,000 power. Digivolves for 3. Level 5 on your turn. While this Digimon has reboot, it gains a security attack plus 1. So, this is one of the best things for Inheritable on him because with reboot, you get to make him big. Yeah, and be able to hit twice. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Rajiludumon is a 6 drop, 7 power with an evolution of 3. He is a level five, so but he has an inheritance of when attacking. If this Digimon is level seven, triggered D. I can't say that word for somewhere. D Digivolve. D Digivolve Evolution or D Digivolve. 
Yeah. And then of one on your opponent's Digimon. Basically, remove the top one and go down. Yeah, so if you have the stack of him and the other one, you Digivolve, Digivolve twice, twice, which is disgusting. Yes, very. Uh, next is one of the big dudes for Ray Ragnar Ludermon. It is Bryra Ludermon. What'd he you is, call me? He is a 10 mana 12 <laughs> drop. Uh, he can Digivolve from a red or black dude for three. And um, his, his inheritable is gains blocker. When an opponent's Digimon attacks, you may suspend this Digimon to force it to block here instead. So he gives blocker, which is really, really nice. And he is a level six dude. Yeah, his art is pretty awesome. Durandamon. So it's a 10 cost, 12 power, but it has an evolution of three red or three black, or is it mm -hmm. both? Three, three or three. Okay. And he has a inheritance of piercing. When this Digimon attacks and deletes an opponent's Digimon and then survives the battle, it performs a security check as normal. Pretty good. So he's pretty simple. They're really, they're both really good. And we'll get back to them when we get to Ragnalordramon because he does stuff with them, but they're what's pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, next is our first, our, one of our level sixes as well. He is Blitzgreymon. So he's another alternate way to win if you need to. Um, he is 12 for 12 power and he digivolves for four red or four black. Um, just on a level five or whatever, but most of the time you can digivolve off of a black. Um, he has piercing. And then he's, when digivolving, trigger digivolution twice on one of your opponent's Digimon. So it's a red dude that digivolves twice, which is kind of gross. And if, again, you have this on the other two dudes that digivolve, you take them down to level three easily. Just basically wipe that whole thing. Yeah. Redo everything. All right, so Ragnar Lordamon. It's, of course, the level seven, costs 14 with the power of 14. But if you evolve, it's a three black or a three on red. So security attack plus one, which is pretty good. It has reboot, which everything like triggers off reboot. And then when digivolving, you may place one uh, Dorotomon or, oh, it literally specifically t targets them. Yeah. From your hand on this card, the evolution cards to gain three memory. So essentially what that means is if you have a level six dude, so like you have a Blitz War Greymon or a Blitz Greymon on your big stack already, and you have this dude, you can, and you have a Bri in your hand, you're like, cool. Play the Ragnalordramon as Digivolution, but you put the Bry on him as first, on the stack first, and it gives you three mana to play, pay for his thing. So essentially, he Digivolves for free. It's pretty cute. And then with this, you just get big stacks so you can hit hit all the time, because all the things trigger off of having Reboot, and he gives you Reboot. And security. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, next up is Gaia Force. It is just a kill spell. It's eight mana, main, delete one of your points, Digimon, security, and activate this card's a main effect if it hits in security, so it's super good. It's just very it's powerful. Just, you're playing red, you're probably going to be playing this card. And of course, we have the Trainer of Tai. So it calls for, sorry, your turn if you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. And on uh, your turn, all your red Digimon with four or more Digi Evolutions gain security attack plus one. And it has security as well, so if it gets hit on the security attack, then it gets to be in play. Yeah, and so your Ragnar Lordramon, he is red, so when he is fully like stacked up, he does get to count for the, the Other four or more Digivolution cards, so he gets an extra security attack from Ty. Yeah. So if you get it set up right, you can get up to like three or four security attacks in one swing, which is kind of disgusting. Very. So very the deck's super fun. It's just going to be building that one big stack and then go into town with Ragnar Lordramon and get in there. That's what it's for. And searching for him as much as possible. Oh yeah, and you're going to be able to get him pretty, pretty simple and pretty quickly. Uh, with that, guys, the deck list will be down below. It's super fun. I can't wait to play it and see what it does and see how it fares against the other decks. Yep. And we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.